Hi everybody, my name is James Jackson. I am currently the UK Atomic Energy Authority EDI partner to OAS. So for those of you that didn't follow any of those abbreviations, what that means is I'm the Equality, Diversity and Inclusion partner to Oxford Advanced Skills. And Oxford Advanced Skills is a high tech training provider and uh, developmental center based at Cullum that is delivering high tech engineering apprenticeships. And the focus of those apprenticeships is to work with employers and partners across the Oxfordshire and Thames Valley area, but also the broader uh, UK uh, sector within engineering and manufacturing and develop the next generation of highly skilled engineering and manufacturing technicians. Within uh, OAS, there is a commitment uh, to drive the EDI agenda, the Equality, Diversity and Inclusion agenda. Um, and from that comes uh, the work that I do. We'll be looking at kind of key work streams, the likes of outreach activity, um, allyship, communication, education, comms, media, metrics and indicators of success, inclusive workplace, but also employer partnering. And trying to initiate and tap into a number of programs, activities, projects, initiatives um, that will help raise the awareness of these uh, opportunities to a vast array of, of, of young talent, diverse talents, um, and make sure if there are any barriers in place, how do we address that? Where can we uh, remove those barriers and how can we make these opportunities more accessible? Um, thus growing the diversity of the next generation of applicants, the next generation of apprentices and the future generations of engineering and manufacturing technicians here in the UK. I want to talk briefly about why I feel key skills such as listening, speaking, uh, creativity, uh, staying positive, um, aiming high, Leadership and teamwork are really, really important. Uh, why I feel uh, that they will benefit um, anybody looking to uh, get into this kind of work, whether that's as an apprentice in engineering and manufacturing, whether that's as a programme manager looking at a broad programme of work, such as equality, diversity, inclusion, or, or, or any career, really. Um, I feel that, that those soft skills and developing those soft skills are absolutely key. Um, and wherever you can take the influences to learn, um, uh, adapt, and in some cases, um, take on uh, knowledge in relation to uh, language, uh, the, the way to phrase a sentence or statement, the way to write a sentence or statement, uh, how to interact with others, how to be assertive without being bossy, how to demonstrate empathy, empathetic leadership, these kind of skills, and ultimately stay positive um, in you know in 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 the, in the face of some really challenging times, I mean you know, we're all uh, in the middle of a, a pandemic right now, and you know that's been challenging for so many people. It's skills like that, uh, problem solving, creativity, being able to think outside the box, that are just key. And for me personally, uh, my background is a little bit uh, grey in terms of my upbringing and the challenges I've had to overcome as a young man, um, and my education subsequently is a bit broken. But having taken on the commitment to kind of uh, develop myself in these soft skilled areas um, has helped me immensely and has meant that I'm, I'm able to, uh, to talk to you today with the job I have and the position that I'm in um, and, and, and hopefully be doing something great in terms of helping the diversity grow within that sector and, and, and bringing through diverse talent and, and representative talent.